O'Brien's been called country's next poster boy and a superstar in the making. Since hitting Nashville in 2007, he's had three mega hit albums with another on the way. Luke's a four-time nominee at tomorrow night's Academy of Country Music Awards, where he'll be debuting his new single, Crash My Party. And if that's not enough, he's co-hosting the show with Blake Shelton. Luke, good morning. Good morning. Thanks Good to for, see you. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. This is the first time you've hosted an award show, right? A, a live, uh, at this magnitude, a live award show, certainly. Uh, you a little nervous uh, about it? Of course, I'm going to be nervous. But I, I, I will always feel that that's, uh, that's the lure and why I got into show business. That challenge, you know, it's the equivalent of, you know, a quarterback in his first Super Bowl, you know, and <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, I mean, and the, the nerves and the excitement, it's, it's, why you, uh, it's why you strive to be better in show business. That's why you do it. Exactly. Yeah, you've been on the road for a while, and you've had some, a lot of sellout crowds. Yeah, the, the, uh, we started our, my first headlining tour this year, the Dirt Road Diaries Tour, mm -hmm. and all of the dates to go are sold out. It's been amazing. It's been a, an amazing year. And uh, I've been, you know, really blessed in this business to where each year, uh, trumps the other. Why and, do you think that's happening? What's going on? Uh, first of all, you know, just being very blessed and being uh, and and doing what I love. I've always done this from a, from a place of true enjoyment, and, uh, and a lot of great people behind me uh, advising me. A lot of great great family and great wife, and it's all worked to get me here. You broke through really in two thousand seven. Did you think you'd be here at this point, this quickly? You know, you dream it up, and, and I, you know, when I moved to Nashville, I had I had very wise people tell me, hey, you know, try to be George Strait, try to be Garth Brooks, try to set your goals high, and I tried to do that. I mean, from the first song I had recorded as a songwriter to to present day, I've just enjoyed each step of the way. You've always said you wanted to pace yourself. You ever well, worried yeah, you, you might get ahead of yourself? Well, I mean, I think, you know, when I see an artist like Taylor Swift that just blew up right off the bat and being a young, you know, and the fact that she's been able to navigate it and do so well and be so amazing at it, and uh, I, I wouldn't have, I don't think I would have been able to handle it that way. Mm -hmm. I, I was very confident, but confident, being confident about it and actually... Uh, Keeping your composure is kind of two separate things. Yeah, well, when you actually get to the point, it's it can be a little overwhelming. Yeah, yeah, and it, people ask me what, all the time, you know, what surprises you most about this business, and it's truly, uh, well, I guess you moved to Nashville thinking that, you know, you, it'll all be easy or something. And it's just, uh, you know, it, this this business isn't for the faint of heart. It's a lot of work and the most rewarding rewarding kind of work you could ever ever dream of doing. Well, you're up for four awards, you're hosting the show, and you're debuting your new song. Exactly. That's that's a lot for one night. <laughs> it's a lot. I, you know, um, it's a busy week, but but this is what Vegas week is all about. If I wasn't working, I'd be uh, partying in some casino somewhere, getting tired either way. You seem awfully cool about all this. Like I said, I think if this happens four years ago, things happen for me, you know, mm -hmm. I'm running around not being very cool. But I tell you what, I just left a series of uh, you know promo stuff with Blake and and Don't you know you having can. him to co-host with. Bring the new couple. We joke a lot, and he's uh, he's been great, and uh, and hopefully uh, hopefully the fans and, and the viewers will really really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I mean, of all the things that you're doing tomorrow night, what's what's potentially the most exciting for you? I have always uh, and 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 don't take this the wrong way. The hosting is. An amazing thing, but when it comes down to showcasing your new music for fans, what got you here is music. Mm -hmm. I don't think anything can be more exciting or important, you know. And I'm performing a song with Blake, so that's exciting. Are you nervous about? I mean, is there anything you're actually nervous about tomorrow? Well, yeah, I mean, well, you're yeah, you're certainly nervous. I mean, everybody um, everybody gets nervous about. Oh, am I going to mess up? Lord, I mean, I've messed up. You know, you can't count the times I've messed up in this business, whether it's. Uh, you know, forgetting words on stage, uh, you know, having the lyrics of the national anthem on your hand or something silly like that. I mean, you have little hiccups in your career, and the beauty of country music fans is they love you for who you are. Because once you have them, they're so loyal, and it's it's like the you can go to sleep at night going, you know what, just be yourself, do the best you can, and your fans will have your back and, and, and love you for it.
Well, Luke Bryan, good luck tomorrow night Thank hosting, you. performing, it's be good. and in the awards. Wish me luck or, or do the whole break a leg thing. <laughs> okay, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Good to see you. You too. Thank you. And you can see Luke co-hosting the Academy of Country Music Awards tomorrow night at 8, 7 central, right here on CBS.